All right, I'd like to thank you for joining this week's webinar. This week we're going to be covering adding a floor plan, adding tables, and then attaching the floor plan to job codes. And on a side note, we're going to be uh, talking about house accounts. So um, once you're logged into Aloha, what you're going to do to create your tables is you're going to go to Maintenance, System, you're going to go down here to Tables. And what you can do is, uh, to add a table number, you would just type it in here. So if you just type in table one, the description can be uh, either uh, what it wants, like a patio table, or it could just say table. And then your the ability in Aloha now is uh, you can actually have an alternate names. So let's say that. Um, you have a patio table and it's table one and you want your food runners to know that that's a patio table one so what you can do for an alternate name is you can put P1 and then you're going to assign a revenue center um, all tables have to have a revenue center attached to it so we're going to go ahead and attach the patio revenue center and the cool part about revenue centers and tables is you can restrict happy hours by revenue centers. So let's say on our patio we're going to have a happy hour and it might be from like 2 to 3. So everybody sitting on the patio can have that happy hour and everybody that's in the restaurant is not going to have that happy hour. So that's kind of a cool thing. You can also restrict happy hour um, to ranges of tables as well. And you can also change the way printers work with your uh, revenue centers as well as your tables. So let's say we had a huge restaurant and we wanted to reroute table numbers 1 through 10 to an upstairs bar printer. We could do that with uh, the tables. So it's kind of cool that you can do that many things with tables. Um, your style here is whether it's square or round, so you have two choices. So if you wanted to make a round table, you would click round. And then your number of seats, you have the ability to show seats on a floor plan. If that's something you want to do, a lot of the restaurants don't show the seats. But some of the fine dining restaurants do show the seats. Um, that way, when they're using pivot seating, the food doesn't get auctioned off to the table. So once you've created your tables, you're going to hit Save. Now, if you're creating a range of tables, so let's say we wanted to create 10 tables um, all on the patio. We wanted them all round, and they're all going to have four seats. What we have is we have a quick copy feature available by right-clicking, and it says Copy Tables. So we're copying from Table 1. We're going to click on Create New Tables. We're going to copy the description our revenue center, our style, and our number of seats. And we can begin this at table 2 and end this at table 10. And once you've got all these fields selected, then what you're going to do is you're going to hit your OK button. And what it's going to do is it's going to quick copy all those tables. So you're not having to go in and type 1, table, P1. So then what you're going to do is you're going to go and you're just going to do like P2, to each one for patio because you've got to put your alternate name on the tables so you would just do that to all the tables and if you are using alternate table names uh, you're gonna have to uh, flag that uh, in, under your store settings so if you go to maintenance store settings and you go to your tabs and tables screen it's gonna say right here use alternate table numbers uh, once you flag that, you can have up to four digits for your table number, and then you're going to save that. So if you had like a patio 101, you would change this table digits to four. So once you've got that done, then uh, what you're going to see on the floor plan is you're going to see this table one. You're not going to see P1. When you're out at a terminal is when you're going to see the alternate name of P1. So kind of be careful when you're naming your tables that on, on the, the chart that you're using to name your tables, you're actually putting the alternate table number because you can have several different alternate names. 
and trying to create a floor plan without knowing what your alternate table names can be kind of a nightmare. So once you've created your tables, you've assigned your alternate table names, you've configured the shapes and the number of seats, then what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to actually set up a floor plan. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Maintenance, we're going to System, we're going to Floor Plan. Once you're at Floor Plan, you have a choice, Panel Editor or Screen Editor. You're going to choose Panel Editor. And you have the ability to set defaults here, depending on your screen size. Usually what I'll do is I'll do the 1024 by 768, or you can do the 800 by 600, just depending on uh, what your screen size is that you're, you're working with. So if I do the 1024 by 768, you see it's really large on here. Um, it's going to appear smaller on your front of house terminal screens just because of the graphics, the, um, the UI. So notice we're in a blank screen right now. So you can click on the screen, nothing happens. Notice you have a set of option commands here and coordinates here. So to open the floor plan or create a new floor plan, you're going to go to commands. We're going to create a new floor plan and we're going to create button functions for this. So once you do that, it's going to pop open and it's going to say um, floor plan. So what this title text is, I never use it because I like to have more room on my floor plan. So if I get rid of my title text, what that does is it just shows you in a little box that says floor plan. Well, you already know you're in your floor plan, so I just don't use that. And then I'm going to go with no border because that gives me more room on my screen uh, to lay out my tables in a, in a better format. So once I've chose no border, this is where you would show um, your seats on tables. So if you wanted to, you could actually show seat one, seat two, seat three, seat four. And what we're going to do is um, I'll turn this function on a little bit later just so you can kind of see what the seats look like around the tables. So what we're going to do is we're going to call our floor plan, floor plan. Oh, and I got my caps on. All right, so once you're ready, um, you're going to hit OK. Now, notice that you're going to have to stretch this box out to fit your screen size. So what you do is you just go to each one of the corners and wait till you get the little arrow thing. <clears throat> 